Hi, this is Ben and this is Experimental Fishing. So welcome back to the channel and today we're going to talk about uh, what I'll be using for top water this year. Um, I started top water last year, last summer, and uh, I fell in love with it. So uh, I got some better gear for this year. So I'll be fishing with the Okuma Serrano. This is a bass rod. It's in a 7.3 medium heavy. Uh, it's got Fuji guides and wind grips. And if you've never fished with wind grips, you should try it. Amazing. I, my new rods, all my new rods now, all have wind grips. Love this stuff. I like it better than cork. Um, and I paired this with the Daiwa Tutula CT Type R in the 8.1 to 1. So I need that fast action to get out of, out of the weeds. Um, and I put some spider wire braid. This is all new for me. I've never used braid in my life. Uh, so it's gonna be an experiment see if I like it and uh, I hope I catch get some good action on film with this so you can get interested in top water if you're not already into top water so uh, next we're gonna talk about my lures so these are my top water lures I might add some more uh, during the season uh, so this year I'm going to concentrate a lot on top water. I started top watering last year and uh, you know like everybody else I bought the Chapo and the Chapo or if you want to call it the Whopper Plopper is very um, it was sold out really quick and uh, the first hit that I got on this was it scared the living crap out of me. You are about to shit your pants. Honestly, and that just turned me on to top water just because of that that lure um, I Recommend anybody but don't buy like I bought all these colors. You don't need all these colors Everyone every color that I tried they work the same They all work the same from under the, the, the fish don't see the color honestly now this one's a little different here because I'm I changed the hook in the back and I put a feather up its keister. So I don't know how that's gonna change anything, but it's a test, you know, I'm experimenting. So uh, we'll see how this goes. And if it goes well, uh, I'll make a video on it with the attacks, with the feather, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Now, at the end of the summer, I was looking at this guy on YouTube, ND Yak Angler, and this guy, is a top water pro and uh, he's very calm he's like a bob ross of fishing i i love i love his videos and he was using the spook and his spook also was modified he put a feather also in the back and he's used uses this color a lot this color is a uh, red and white but he uses a salt water version that has a lot of effects in the paint job so I'm gonna I'm very eager to try this I can't wait like I, I, I tried this guy on the last day of, of fishing I got a hit but I, I didn't pull the fish out so uh, we'll see how this goes and this guy I saw on a TV show uh, from Ontario and these guys were pulling out fish one after the other and the, the water is very similar to here like I'm in Quebec near Montreal so uh, the water is very very clear and this color seemed to be working very well, so I can't wait to try this. And the famous rat, the rat. This I cannot wait to try. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen videos of the rat, how it works in the water. Beautiful, it's a beautiful lure, and uh, I got a really good deal on this. They sell these, they sell these for around twenty dollars Canadian. They're crazy. I got this for like nine bucks. So uh, it's really nice, it has a nice features on it, a lot of details, and you get an extra tail also with it. So, so count this, I really can't wait to try this. Now, another category I didn't have much success with, 
was the frog. This is a popping frog. I didn't never got any success with the frog. I gotta concentrate on this. Um, I got the frog and the frock here. So this guy got a hit but uh, lost a leg. So uh, we'll see how this goes between these two. Wh which one works better? I don't know. We'll see. And I got this hula popper. Um, this old guy at the store said, "Oh, you should get this. This, uh, you know, the fish loves this. So can't wait to try that." And the last category is poppers. I have, haven't tried much, to be quite honest. I tried it a bit, uh, but like I said, I gotta concentrate more on the overall top water experience. So th this is pretty cool. And the last thing for you guys that don't have a budget or whatever, unless you have extra hooks, good hooks at home, and you just swipe them. These are from the dollar store. Um, quite honestly, you know, the colors are nice and stuff, but the hooks suck. Now, if you don't have the hooks and you're spending money on hooks, and then you might as well buy a, a good one right away. So, you know, don't buy these unless you have hooks at home and you don't mind like swapping them or whatever. But these, uh, honestly, is not my cup of tea. So this is uh, basically what I'm going to be using for top water so this, this year. So this concludes my um, my little expose on uh, top water lures. If you are new to top water uh, and you want to try something really wicked, go for the Chapo from Berkeley, or if you could get a Whopper Plopper, the Berkeley is are less expensive and the hooks are amazing on it. Um, the action is great. I love it. Even my mother-in-law got one, so, and uh, she she's just like a worm, worm fisher. Like she just puts worms on her hooks and puts them in the water and she waits. But she saw the attack on this and she got one. So uh, I recommend it highly. Very very good lure. So this concludes, and I hope you enjoyed it. And next time uh, it's gonna be a different video. It might be about my boats and. Uh, what to buy and what not to buy if you're going in the inflatable world because i'm in the inflatable world <laughs> so uh see you next time All right ciao